what I'm about to show you now is how to dominate the first page of Google. So you type in a keyword and you've got multiple things coming up and every one that every link that someone links on or clicks on leads back to your money site. And the next stage of that and, and it's a little bit more difficult to roll out um, just because you know you have to train people up um, for, from an outsourcing point of view but it, it works fantastically and obviously we're all familiar with the um, explosion of um, web 2.0 properties and I'll tell you my my top top 10 or something something like that but we'll say web 2.0 now for the web 2.0 um, we are looking at building up a, a set of websites and web to, all web 2.0 is super quick summary for those of you who don't know be hard to miss by now but um, all it is is really websites that have, have started springing up like your Facebook, like your MySpace, not that I use those, but even things like Squidoo and um, Hub Pages and Weebly and things like that. They're web 2.0. Typically speaking, it's just websites that are have user-generated content on them. For me, that's what I think of Web 2.0. It's just user-generated content type sites. Um, now, for the, the, the Web 2.0, um, let me just have a, a look here. Um, usually, just to start, um, and I suppose we'll shift this into, we're sort of now moving into stage two. So stage one is all about getting just your money site ranked, and that'll get your money site ranked. This now, stage two, is more about dominating that first page on Google. And if you pick out, just to start, maybe five to ten um, Web 2.0 properties, and you can build on that over time, like once you start to see the success of it, you might say, right, now I've got a person dedicated specifically for building Web 2.0. I have a girl, she's been trained up over, see that's why I was saying it takes a little bit more effort, she's been trained up over quite some time and she builds uh, this network for me on different web 2.0 sites and then posts content to it and then from there, these, what you use with the web 2.0 properties, I usually link them straight back to my money site and also some of these internal ones as well. So, And, and many of them, these sites will let you link to multiple places, like you can send multiple links out on the site. Um, because this is, you know, think of it in terms of how close is this activity to my money site because you never want to be doing something, like I said, dodgy that could harm your money site. Obviously, we want to protect the money site. The further we go up here, like the blog network, I'm happy to use, you know, lower quality content. Down here, reasonably well uh, or reasonably closely linked to your money site, unless you have an affiliate program um, and then you, if you've got an affiliate program, you have plausible deniability and that, that's the idea that, you know, um, this might be someone else because you've got an affiliate program. If, if something is dodgy happening, um, or, or you know, some some way to gain the search engine is happening back to your money site. If you've got an affiliate program, you've got that plausible deniability of oh, it could be an affiliate, not necessarily me that's controlling it. So, but you know, mitigating that, and if we take that out of the, the equation, you want to just be more careful um, on these Web 2.0 properties. I really like to use Web 2.0 for actually building profiles. Like, I mean, these aren't just me opening an account and doing it on huge mass. There's a little bit more work in, involved. Like, I've got someone employed, she's in the States, so obviously English is uh, her first language. Uh, she's got good command of the, the English language, and the quality at which she's doing it is much higher. Um, but I'll get her to build a profile about these, so if someone actually went to the profile page, they'll see a, a, an alias or a picture of a person, so it feels real, it doesn't feel spammy. Um, and that's, that's what I use the Web 2.0 for. Now, uh, as, as far as Web 2.0 properties, some, some of the ones that I recommend, uh, which I mentioned, Squidoo, WetPaint, WordPress, Blogspot, Weebly, Hub Pages, Multiply, and we'll list a lot more on the website. But if you just choose between five to ten of those and put some content up, that's pretty much how you want to start off with um, the Web 2.0 stuff. Um, the next stage is 